Top Gun, one of the quintessentially 80s movies, probably one of my favourites. It launched Tom Cruise's career, it had action, it had people flying around in jet airplanes, blowing things up and dogfighting. It was fucking awesome. So of course, it only seemed right that the video game companies would decide to cash in on this. Nintendo had already created their Top Gun video game, the year the movie was actually released. But Sega decided that they would have a crack of it, and what they created was Afterburner. Released into arcades everywhere in 1987, Afterburner has you piloting an F-14 fighter jet where you have to shoot your way through levels of attacking enemies. This game was a sensation, whether you were playing on the upright cabinet or the deluxe sit-down cabinet as featured in this segment from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. As a kid, when I saw this, I was like... John Connor's playing motherfucking Afterburner, yeah! Well, maybe I didn't use those exact words, but still, motherfucking Afterburner, yeah! John Connor's playing this game just before he has to escape from the T-1000, and it got me thinking... Wait a minute, did John Connor save the world from Skynet using gaming knowledge that he'd acquired from playing Afterburner? I promise it. I knew it! That's right kids, and if you play your video games, you too can grow up to be big and strong and a saviour of the entire world! Super scale of goodness in all of its glory! Oh man, this game is so much fun, even when you're playing it on MAME. I'm so glad to be doing a review of it. What's this? <coughs> Roll commercial. Take control of your own F-14 jet fighter and experience all the thrills of real battle action with Tiger's new electronic tabletop arcade game, Afterburner. Destroy enemy planes with your machine gun or missiles. Lock on. Enemy in sight. Fire. 18 stages of play make Afterburner a true test of a skilled jet fighter. Skilled jet fighter. No. No, I'm not doing this one on my own. I am not reviewing this on my own. I need some help. Who from? I've got it. Octavius! You yelled? Oh, there you are. I'm calling it in. Oh, God. All right. What are you playing? It's a tiger version of Afterburner, and as you're the only other person in the entire universe I know of who owns one, I'm calling it in to hear your thoughts. Oh yeah, that one! <laughs> no, no, you're not making me review that, no. I've already done the game com, and that gave me enough Mardi brain aneurysms, so no, not happening. Goodbye. But, but I said goodbye! Look! You owe me this one small favour after I help you bury the bodies of those video game characters you slept with and then killed. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Right? Okay. You've left me with no choice, and I hope you understand that you've only brought this on yourself. <clears throat> Where did you learn to fly? No, Where did you learn to fly? Where did no. you learn to no. fly? Where did you learn to fly? No. Where Stop. did you no. learn to fly? Where did you no. learn to fly? Alright, okay, fine. I'll give you my honest review on this Afterburner game as long as I can just never hear that floating head's voice ever again, okay? Okay, deal. <sighs> okay. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. Eat shit, you're on your own. Goodbye. Oh, and I won't be asking for your help bearing video again characters ever again. Grass. Mother f Okay, let's get this over with. 
The Afterburner LCD tabletop game was released in 1989 under the Tiger Electronics brand, and we all know what a colourful history that company's had with marketing gaming devices. As you can see on the box, it says complete with super sound, and we'll get to that very shortly. Let's take a look at the device itself in all of its late 1980s glory. I'll point out that over here in the UK, it was sold under the grandstand name, but believe me, that doesn't make it any less rubbish. It comes with a joystick with two buttons, a little speed control complete with random dial, mode start and select. Yep, regardless of the game, I think it looks like pure 80s tat, and I absolutely love it. This retailed for around $24.99 when it first came out, but with inflation, that's now around 60 UK pounds. Now I know what you're all thinking. 60 quid? Shut up and take my money! You can tell this thing comes from the late 1980s by the amount of batteries it takes. It takes two D cells and two double A batteries, which it sucks dry pretty quickly. So let's get these batteries into this bad boy and then we can cough. Enjoy the game. Come on. There we go. Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh god, it's just like any other Tiger LCD game, except it's housed in a big thing with extra big speakers. Oh no, wait, that's super sound. Oh, it's super sound, alright. Super fucking ear piercing! Now, the objective of this game is very simple. Shoot down enemies and score points. When you've scored enough points, you then move on to the next level. Big fun, right? Yay, I'm having so much fun and excitement playing this. Well, it does say on the box, 18 exciting levels. 18 levels of this? No, thank you, I choose life. A tiny screen that I can barely see anything on! The screen is so small and difficult to see that most gameplay sessions involve you having to sit like this. The box says it's a large LCD screen. Yeah, it is large. If you're one of these... I know. I'll pretend I'm listening to the kick-ass soundtrack and sound effects from the arcade game. Yeah! Okay, one way in which this is cool is to add to the realism, they added a little red LED light on the screen that lights up whenever you shoot down an enemy plane. Also, there's an LED light on the target window on the right hand side that lights up whenever you've got an enemy in sight. So that's pretty cool. And they're also becoming very rare. A quick search on eBay came up with only one listing where they wanted quite a ridiculous price for a machine that not only has had most of its stickers ripped off, but it's, uh, it's all yellowed and bleh. Take that! And that! And this! And some of that! Yeah, now I can really relive those scenes from Top Gun. Ah, Goose is on me tight, I can't shake him! Your ego's writing checks, your butt can't cash! No, wait, this is still absolute crap. Well, I tried. And what the hell? The kid in the commercial makes it look like he's having more fun than Jim Carrey playing Ace Ventura. Alrighty then. Oh, no, no. I'm afraid I have to call bullshit on this blatant false advertising. Jacuz! Oh, 
No, I don't understand it. This thing came out two years after the arcade game and two years after the Master System version of this game came out. And the Master System version's pretty decent. It still has even a bit of a kick-ass soundtrack. <laughs> Hell, even the ZX Spectrum version of this is better than playing this thing. Sorry, Sir Clive. Bloody fucking hell! Why does this thing exist? Why does this thing exist? Why? Seriously, why? 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 We're sorry. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Normal service will resume shortly. Look, at the end of the day, I can't tell you what to do with your hard-earned money. All I can say to you is, this thing isn't very good for what you'll pay for it, so don't buy this. Instead, buy my game, Guess the Fleas, the only game where you guess which pot contains fleas. Guess the Fleas, fun for the entire family from Mattel. It's the only game in the world where you guess which of the four pots contains fleas. If you guess wrong, your home, office, or apartment will be infested with fleas. Guess the fleas! It's the game all the cool YouTubers are currently playing. Let's see what they have to say about it. I guessed wrong, and now my house is full of fleas. Yay. I guessed wrong, and now my house is infested with fleas. But what a fun game! Oh no, I get swollen now my house is just filled with fleas! <laughs> but what a fun game! Gah! I guessed wrong and now the dark room is infested with fleas. And violence. No! Guess the Fleas! Available now from No Good Retailers for $49.95. Order now and get a free gift! The gift is more fleas. Guess the fleas! And don't forget, every boxed copy of Guess the Fleas is hand prepared by me! Guess the fleas! The only game where you guess which part contains fleas. Don't waste your money on outdated video games! Don't waste your money on outdated board games! Instead, buy Guess the Fleas! Guess the fleas! Guess the fleas! But now! No, 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 no! Terms and conditions apply may not be a real product. Am I implying that a fake game created by an alcohol-induced dream which features blood-sucking parasites is better than buying this piece of crap? That's exactly what I'm saying. Good night. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video today. Obviously this one's been my most ambitious to date, still shooting everything on my iPhone. I want to say a massive thank you to all of the YouTubers that contributed to this video as well. You will find the links to all of their names and their channels in the description below. And I want to say a huge thank you to the wonderful Octavius Kitten. It's an amazing thing to actually be able to do a YouTube video with YouTubers that you've watched for ages and then you're collaborating them. Thank you so, so much. You've got to check her channel out. Everybody has channels. Everybody has Patreon links. They all deserve your attention. Please do check them out. And if you wish to donate to me on Patreon to help me make better content for you, I'll leave the links below. Until next time, guys, take it easy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. That's what you've got to say now, isn't it? Cheers. That'll keep those Brits off the scent. <laughs> Nobody knows my true history with this game since I moved here a long time ago. In 1989. <laughs> and as always guys, this video has been made possible thanks to contributions from my awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to join them, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming muso. So, an absolutely massive thank you to Score Avensis, Aaron C, Greg Lindsay, Julie Lindsay, Egil Helgerson, Matthew Lisi, 
Barbie, Gary Pinkett, Retro Man Cave, James O'Grady, John Bryan, Mike Woods, Kevin Clarkson, Linkovich, Matt Goss, Mean Machine Dean, Dark Blue Monkey, Taz Fay Dodge, That Retro Video Gamer, The Geeky Dad, Simon Osborne, What Ho Snorkers, and Sebastian Valles. And of course, a massive thank you to all my other wonderful Patreon supporters. You guys all absolutely rock! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and thanks for watching.